Hello, everyone. I pray that God blesses us, heals us from any sickness or anything like that. Do you have <clears throat> a very long memory? As in a very long memory about the wrong that people have done to you. Can you remember five or 10 years ago what a person did? Like, can you remember almost every bad thing someone has done to you? And do you feel like a victim? As in, Maybe you feel like so many people have done you wrong. So many people have uh, messed with you, as in picked with you in an unkind way. Do you have a very long memory on stuff like that? Do you? Let me ask you this. How many people have you done wrong? How many people have you verbally abused? How many people, like, how many people were you unpleasant to? Do you remember so much about the wrong that people have done to you, but do you remember the wrong that you do to people? Do you believe your emotions, your feelings, more important, important than others? Yes. I did you wrong. I did you wrong 1,000 times. But you should forgive me. But you have done me wrong 100 times. And I hate you. I don't want anything to do with you. Like you are a displeasure to me. Are you that way? Do you see your wrong as less and see your enemies wrong as so much more. Do feeling pity for yourself in a sense, does it comfort you? Does it make you comfortable by pitying yourself? Like, hey, you know, so many people do me wrong. I am trying to do what's right. But like, do you pity yourself so much? Do you like correction? Or should I say, do you like to be corrected? Or do you feel... <laughs> Or do you feel you can correct others, but others should not correct you? Like, do you see where I am going with this? Are you so self-absorbed? Like, do you feel like you should be placed upon a pedestal while people bow down to your feet? Do you see your life as more important than others? Your wants, your needs, far way more than everyone else. Are you that way? Yes, that person is suffering over there, but that person can die. <laughs> like, I need... 
I have 100 pairs of shoes, but I need that 101 pair of shoes to feel, I guess, complete. What is that? With everything I have said, what is that? Why are you so self-absorbed? Do you believe it is a coincidence that so many people don't really want to be around you? Is it a coincidence? You like to manipulate. You like to lie. You like to exaggerate. If you are this way, you really need to change. Be concerned with others. Have care for others. Have love. Please listen to what I am saying. Have love for others. Everything should not be all about you. You are not a princess. You are not a prince. You are not a king. You are not a queen. You are in order for the, um, for what I am speaking in, in the situation I am speaking in, you are not a king. You are not a queen. You are an ordinary person. You are so self-absorbed. You are so, which I believe, narcissistic. Like you don't want people to abandon you, but how can they really be around you when you are so self-absorbed? Like who really wants to be around a person like that? It's all about me. Yeah, I know you have your wants, but your wants are not really important to me. It's all about me. Like, who wants to be around someone like that? You may have a person or two or maybe more that may suffer through what you put. You may have a person or more to suffer through what you put them through. But who really wants to be around someone like that? Yes, I want you to give to me. I want you to honor me. I want you to respect me, but I'm not really going to give to you because it's about me. I'm not really going to respect you because it is about me. I'm going to treat you based upon the way I feel, not based upon the way I want you to treat me. Does that make any sense? So that self-absorbed person wants you to respect them and honor them and give to them, but they really don't want to do the same. Who wants to be with a person that only takes? Like, yes, you know, I could give you some shoes. I could honor you. I can do this and that for you, but... I'm not really here for that. I am here <laughs> for what you can give to me because I'm the prince. I'm the princess. I'm the king. I'm the queen. So you are just a peasant. <laughs> Imagine that. You think of yourself so highly while you look down on other people who really wants to be around a person like that? You may have a fear of abandonment. You may have very low self-esteem. You know, you may say, well, Kevin, I have been hurt. And, you know, I have to look out for myself. So by being that way, that's how you look out for yourself. Give me love, but I don't really want to give you love give me this but 
I don't really want to give back to you because you have to serve me. But you cry when people abandon you. You get very angry and have these pity parties when people leave you, but look at the way you are acting. Look at the way you are speaking. If you want love in this world, we are going to reap what we sow. So if I am sowing love, won't I reap that back? I'm giving out love. Won't I eventually get love back from others? But if you always taken, taken, taking, 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 and not really giving, won't some people get tired of you? Like, hey, I continue to give to this person, and this person not giving me anything. This person got, has a bad attitude, speaks rudely to me, seems very entitled. Why should I continue helping that person? I really hope this makes sense. Stop the pity parties. Why do everyone treat me like this? Why does everyone leave me? Because of the way you behave. Yes, you may have gotten hurt. You may have went through something really bad, but you need to move on. You need to get better. You need to stop this narcissistic behavior. Or just continue doing the same thing and believe to yourself that things are going to get better while you don't want to change. Let me stop here. May God bless you.